What's up guys, welcome back to this Django REST framework series. So just to recap what we did last video, we can go to our local host and originally we get nothing. If we go to our users, we can see a list of all the users. And as you can see here, you see this user is associated to post with ID one and three. Similarly, we can go up here and we can go to the posts list and we can see all of the posts. We can create a post, we can delete a post if we go to an individual post, and since I am logged in with the user that created this post, we can delete and update, but if I go to this post in, say, an incognito browser, I still can view the post, but I cannot delete or update. So in this video, we are going to add hyperlinks to this browserable API so we can easily navigate to different things. Additionally, this homepage here, we are going to hook up this URL so that we can get an overview of everything from here and easily click on things that we want to visit. So let's get to it. So the first thing that we want to do is create an endpoint for the root of our API. So go into your views.py file, and what we're going to do is create a new view. So for this, we're going to use a regular function-based view and the API view decorator. So we need to import that. So let's say from rest underscore framework dot decorators import api underscore view and you'll notice we used this in one of the earlier view tutorials but we moved on from this and migrated to class-based views as you see here but a api a function-based view for the root will be sufficient in our case Next, we need to import reverse. So we'll say from rest underscore framework uh, dot reverse import reverse. And we will be using that in just a second. So what I'm going to do is come right under these imports. And I'm going to say at API underscore view. And I'm going to pass in get. And this should look familiar to you. Like I said, something we did. Uh, in one of the previous tutorials. And this will be our method for the API root. So we can say def, and we'll call it API underscore root. We're gonna pass in the request, and we're going to say format is equal to none. That's talking about the format of the data, such as JSON or HTML. And inside the method body, we're simply going to return a response. And here we're going to return our users and our posts. So first off, we'll say users, and that will be reverse. We'll say user list. We'll say request is equal to request, and format is equal to format. Next, we'll say comma. Now we want the posts, and that will be equal to reverse post list, make sure the user is spelled correctly, post list, and then this is all the same. We want the request to be equal to the request and format to be equal to format. So that's all for the views. And if you go back here, you'll notice it's still not working because we haven't, whoops, rest framework dot reverse. There we go, E there. Perfect, now that's working. And if you go back here, it's still saying page not found. That's because we haven't hooked this up in the URLs yet. So let's do that. Let's go to the URLs.py in the posts app folder. And let's add path. This will be index, so nothing in there. And then this will be from views.api underscore root. All right, so now let's add hyperlinking. So in our serializers.py, so in here, we're going to add in our post serializer, we're going to change this to serializers.hyperlinked model serializer. And then we now need an owner. So we're gonna say owner 
is equal to serializers dot read only field and then the source will be equal to owner dot username and then this class meta is fine but we need to pass in a URL and we also need the owner now that should be good and then for the user serializer we also need to make this a hyperlinked model serializer and we have posts equals serializers dot not primary key related field but hyperlinked related field many equals true and then we want view name oops, view underscore name equals post detail and read only equals to true okay now let's make sure that our URL patterns are named correctly so let's go to our urls.py and posts and what we're going to do is URL patterns are equal to format underscore suffix underscore patterns and then we're gonna do that okay there we go so I just changed up our URL patterns just a bit so I put this one at the top and then we have our posts URL path which gives you the list we have our post detail we have our users list and our users detail and now we can take out this perfect so this is what the urls.py file should look like now finally let's add some pagination so we only get a certain number of results per page because if we have a hundred different posts we don't want all those on the same page we want to break it up so for this we're going to open up settings.py and all the way at the bottom we're going to say rest underscore framework in all caps in here I'm just going to copy and paste a couple things okay there we go so we have the default pagination class we're importing that in and then we're just saying page size equals 10 in this if you go to the rest framework documentation go to API guide pagination you'll find it there so now if we open this up in the browser we should be good to go okay there we go so as you can see we are now at our home index and we get API root and here we can see users and posts and if I hover over this there we go we can click it so if I click this it brings us to the users list where I can see a list of all the users and again look at this I see user one I see post so I can hit boom that brings me to post one and I can click it again keeps me there let's see and up here let's go back to the post list maybe we want the second one which is ID 3 let's go back to the root and let's go to posts here is our post list as you can see by the URL and we have all the posts here and I can navigate to any one I want so I think that's really cool and how we can add that super easily using Django rest so I'm here in the post list slash post and I have 10 posts created and if you remember we created Django pagination so it only shows 10 posts on a page so if I come down here and I make another post we'll say the 11th post we'll say this is the content we'll give it an author of me now if I post this we have the post with the ID and if I go back to the post list here you'll see that we now have pagination so I can navigate to the second page which has that post that we just created because that is the 11th post and we specified that we wanted 10 posts on a page and as you can see here we also have previous so we can go back like that 
You can go next, previous. So that's really cool. So that is all for the official Django REST tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. There are still some things to be covered, so I'm going to try to make some videos that will continue on with the series going in different directions, such as adding a front-end view. Uh, I plan to do that with a couple different JavaScript frameworks, such as React and Vue, and also how to make requests to this API in Flutter. So Flutter, if you don't know, is a platform for building cross-platform mobile applications developed by Google, and getting data for mobile applications is essential. And for this, I think what we could do is maybe create a simple app that would allow us to pull our blog posts from this API and display it in the mobile application. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and this series and want more just like this, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.